Okay, so just a few tips on part two of your project. Um, remember that your part one needs to be done completely error-free and all the inserting needs to be done right before you can go on to the queries or you're going to start getting wrong results if your data is wrong. So do be aware of that. Check for feedback from your instructor before you um, jump into the queries. I wanted to go over query number two because it's really the only one that has something brand new. So it says, hint, use modulus for the days left over after the years. Now this was kind of with the intent of, you know, we really haven't gone over modulus, but maybe you need to figure out how to do a little bit of research on your own and do it. But I found students were just super lost with modulus. Um, and we didn't really use that in class. It's kind of a new thing. So I did want to kind of go over that quickly. So if you go to W3Schools, you could look up modulus and you could just say modulus with SQL because modulus is used with other languages. Pass the ads. Okay, right here, mod function. So there's two ways you can use modulus um, as a function or as a operator with the percent sign. But let's just talk about what op what modulus is. Modulus is going to return the remainder of a number divided by another number. So for example, if we go into this little try me, we've got 18 being divided by 4. 18 or 4 will go into 18 four times, which is 16, with a remainder of 2. So when I run this, I get the remainder is what you get. What's left over? So when number 2 is asking how many days are left over after we equally divide 365 into the date difference, right, the, the years of how old they are. We want what days are left over. This is the second column I'm talking about with um, right there, days left over. This is what you're going to have to use modulus for right here. So, so again, so if I had like 9 divided by 3, the the modulus is going to be zero because three goes evenly three times into nine. There is no remainder, right? So we're wanting to the remaining days left over. So you could also um, not do the modulus. I don't know if it'll let me do this here, but if I just use the operator, it will also work that way. So you don't have to use the function. You can use you know, 3 goes into 12 evenly, but if I had 5, it's going to go twice for 10 and then leave 2 left over, right? So there's two different ways. You can use the mod function with the two parameters, the first one and the second one being what you're dividing it by, or you can use this just this percent sign that would do the modulus. Okay. Hopefully that helps you be able to set up number two a little easier because we've kind of explained what modulus is. But again, that would be something, I mean, we didn't go over every single function that there is. We didn't go over every single operator that there is. So realize you will run into things past this 100 level database class that you might have to research and look up. So that's kind of the idea. And then this last column is just these first two columns concatenated with some strings. So nothing, these first two are really the ones that you're going to be concentrating on. Okay, I think that's all we needed for this one. Um, sometimes you can get some of these results back without putting a lot of different where columns in or where conditionals in, but I would do as many as, as you can, but um, there is some grouping and, and things like that. So watch, watch the rest of those closely. Okay, hopefully that helps out a little bit with part two.